Hi guys, in this video we'd like to show you how to use wrapping functionality in UDraper so you can use clothes created for one avatar and use them for a different character in Unreal Engine. In 3D Draper, let's open this hoodie. It has three materials prepared for the main part, the rib and the hood. It is created for 180 centimeters, almost 6 feet tall Dust 3D female avatar. I'm exporting it in 3D garment format. When exporting a garment from 3D Draper, we also export the wrapping information, which is similar to the wrap deformer in Maya. Next, let's also export these sweatpants for the same tall avatar. Here we also have some materials created for the pants, rib and the waistband. Now, in Unreal Engine, I've created this MetaHuman Character Child Blueprint and added the Draper components. The Draper Collider component includes the MetaHuman body, and I'm using LED1 for the collider. For the head part, I've created a simplified MetaHuman head mesh in Maya without the face and the ears, while keeping the skeleton and the rig. We should make another video on how to do it properly. Next we have the Draper simulation component as usual and then two Draper garment components for a top and the bottom. Now let's add the sweatpants that we've just exported from 3D Draper. Since the pants were created for very tall avatar, they are now positioned too high and look too large for our metahuman character, which is only 166 centimeters tall. First we scale the pants down and make them, let's say, 95% of the original size. Then we adjust the position to fit the new avatar better. Although the pants don't fit our character 100%, uh, the simulation should redrape the garment later on. Since this garment was created and exported with a different avatar, the wrap gets disabled after importing, which is rather inconvenient because if we want to change the character pose, the garments will remain in the same position. To enable the wrapping, we need to save this garment as it positioned on the new avatar, but first let's run the simulation and redrape it. I'm going to open the Draper editor and click play to start the simulation. The pants are redraped now around the new collider mesh and we can click save button in the Draper Editor panel. Now uh, let's stop the simulation and turn the wrap on and reset our transforms. You can see the pens now positioned nicely on our character. Now let's import the hoodie. Again, we see the garment imported according to its original avatar size. So we need to scale it down and position uh, to match the new avatar size. Here I'm looking to match the wrists with the sleeves. So let's click play and see that the hoodie fits well on our new model. And we can save the hoodie in the Draper Editor panel. I stop the simulation now and enable wrapping. 
and uh, we can also set to zero our location transforms. Since we already have the garments with specific materials, I'm going to make sure that the binding is set up correctly to avoid ripping the clothes during the simulation. For the waistband, I want it to stay in place and not sliding down, while other parts can move more freely. For the hood itself, I'll bind it to the head to avoid it sliding down. Don't forget to save the changes we make for our materials. Now we are ready to play some animation. I've prepared the simple animation sequence. We click play and make sure the simulation has started correctly. And uh, if everything's okay, we start our sequence and watch the animation.